name here now is Herman van Bergen. Yep. Did I say your name correctly? That's good. <laughs> yeah. In um, English it is Herman from the mountains. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, van Bergen. <laughs> but that's Dutch. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you're from Holland originally, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. Yes. Uh, when did you but nobody is, uh, uh, the Netherlands only exists for 300, 200 years, I think. Right. So my grand, uh, my elder family came from Portugal, Czech, Slovakia. Okay. Yeah. yeah. When did you move to Kyrgyzstan? 1989. 1989. Okay. And you were a practicing artist in the Netherlands before you moved yeah, there yeah, as well? Yeah, yeah. I did an art academy and I studied uh, on a university anthropology. Okay. Great. But uh, I, I was working always in the arts. Um, why did you decide to move to Kyrgyzstan? Because I met a beautiful young lady <laughs> <laughs> and she was born over here. Okay. And she, so uh, she made me acquainted with the family. Mm -hmm. I uh, uh, traveled for the first time in 1980 over here and I uh, immediately fell in love with the, yeah. the atmosphere. Um, so having been practicing in the Netherlands and then moving to Kyrgyzstan with this beautiful young lady, um, how would you say that that impacted on your art practice since you were already practicing? Did it change a lot of your content? Well, my, the paintings I did in, in Holland were, were dark because the, the, the Dutch uh, atmosphere is North European yeah. and it's black and it's uh, uh, depressive. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't find a way out of this uh, in my mind. So my father and my best friend, my father, he, he, uh, he told me, uh, go and find your uh, smile back. Yeah. So I came to live over here and uh, I, I enjoyed life again. Because this over here, the life over here is far more uh, primal. It's more related with uh, the, the things which matter in life. Mm -hmm. And then in the, in the sophisticated uh, civilization of Western Europe, those things are not important anymore. You're only mm -hmm. thinking you know, small things which doesn't matter in real things. Yeah. You so understand? You, yeah, so you really connected with the Caribbean, the, the atmosphere, the nature and the way of life down here. And, uh, and, and of course uh, the, the, the people who, who uh, 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 find a way of living and enjoy living with nothing. Yes. Because there's poverty over here. Yeah. Not that I enjoy poverty, <laughs> but, but the, 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 the straightness from the, the roots the roots uh, which, uh, which are very important in uh, creating, I think. What would you say your perspective is then on the art scene in Curacao? Like when you came here in 1989 and then up to now, how would you say the contemporary arts has been changing through that time? Oh yeah, a lot. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. Because in the beginning when I was, uh, 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 I had to earn a living over here, so I'm, ref uh, uh, I'm able to, to paint from nature figurative way, so I made calendars, and uh, those those calendars, posters and postcards, they were sold in the shops because there was nothing like that. And now, tens of calendars of, uh, you can buy, and uh, hundreds uh, different kinds of postcards. But uh, the contemporary atmosphere started in the beginning of the 90s with Carrie Art, where I met Annelie also. Yeah. She was participating, and also... Uh, mm -hmm. and so uh, I started to learn uh, those people and we had a, a huge, uh, 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 how do you call it, uh, people were talking with each other about yeah. the, the modern art and so it came slowly into the island and it really changed when uh, TSO came back mm -hmm. uh, uh, from the study in the Netherlands in the beginning of the 90s I think, May, yeah, half 90s. Yeah. And then we had the big show at uh, Watamula, okay. the, the International Artist Workshop from the Triangle Front. Yeah. Great. So you would say then making these connections with Anneli, Rasha, Uchi, um, Tirzo, so you think that that idea of unity among Caribbean artists is really important for like changing this contemporary art scene and furthering it? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it really uh, uh, talks about the, the real life on the islands. So the, uh, out of the paradise. Yeah, not just these stereotypes the and paradise commercial uh, art. Yeah, the, yeah. the, the illusion. Yeah. yeah. Um, what 
Has the public been responsive though? Because we've got the artists connecting with each other, but how would you say like the general public responds to your work and other contemporary work in Carousel? Yeah, everybody does it in, in his own way. Eh? Yeah. I started to make uh, those uh, uh, thorn things mm -hmm. uh, uh, during the, the Watermula workshop. And after that, uh, after 9-11 in the United States, I, I wanted to communicate uh, with people here on the island because everybody, a lot of people on the island are still involved with uh, slavery. Mm -hmm. And they keep their mind into that. Yeah. And they don't want to, 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 to uh, uh, resuscitar, to change, to, to live with it, and mm -hmm. to, to use it as a tool to come further in life. Yeah. So I, I started to communicate about that okay. you, uh, by means of my work. Again, I guess that relates to this idea of um, Europe and the Netherlands and the connection to Curacao, and I suppose there's quite a tension maybe in the community yeah. surrounding that. And how do you think that translates into the art world? The you, you mean the, the, the connection with? The connection with the Netherlands whole. Is yeah, of so? course, of yeah. course, mm -hmm. because I. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Because, uh, for instance, the, the way the, 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 the funds in the, in, in, in the, the Netherlands, mm -hmm. and when uh, I even told, uh, I was sp speaking with my wife about that this morning, because the way the funds treat you in, uh, from the Netherlands, they always uh, want to show who is the boss. Right. And I said to Daisy, uh, can you imagine how the politics are working like that? Because one politician in Holland, even from the smallest party, will be Himself far more bigger and more important as a, as a uh, politician from here. Mm. So the, 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 the atmosphere is really... Uh, yeah. and the Dutch are really rationalistic. Mm -hmm. yeah, they don't use much, uh, much emotions in their way of talking. And they are really into money, money, money. Yeah. And that's what's in Europe. That's another part of the reason that you came here, then, yeah. to get, get away from that sort yeah. of intense atmosphere and join the more Caribbean way of... Yeah, the passion. Yeah, yeah, it's wonderful. Have you exhibited much then throughout the region? Um, yeah, yeah. In other islands, like, can you talk about some of those exhibitions you've been in? I've been in the Biennale in Santo Domingo three mm -hmm. times. I did uh, San Sebastian in Maracaibo, in Aruba, I did a few times, a few shows. Uh, Cuba. Yeah. Not in Barbados, no. not in, in Trinidad. I was with the traveling exhibition, yeah. with, uh, uh, which start started in uh, Santo Domingo and uh, it was called Entre Lignes, Between the Lines. It was all ab about drawings. Yeah. And it went through uh, all the islands, I think, you think in Barbados. Yeah. Yeah. So, you, would you be interested then in um, exhibiting in Barbados and in some of the other islands then if, like, let's say these platforms such as Fresh Milk and Institute of Buena Vista or Alice Yard in Trinidad, in Trinidad, if we were to then create a sort of a mass Caribbean exhibition, that would be something you'd be very enthusiastic yeah. to be a part of. Of course. I, w I had a work over there, that, but it was on a, on a craft show. Okay. My wife went there and she took one of those big uh, globes from Sumpinas and it was sold over there. Mm -hmm. yeah. hmm. So it w uh, some people have seen my uh, spine things over there. Yeah. Talk a little bit about your work with the thorns and where, like, why do you choose that medium? Yeah. Uh, why do I start it? With why I started uh, because I wanted to put a point uh, behind something. So I thought I'm, I'm going to make a, 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 a ball of, of thorns, the zumpinia spines. Zumpinia, it's uh, papimento. Okay. And uh, so I made that. It was very easy to do. So I made a square. It was very easy to do. So then 9-11 uh, came and then I thought everybody's thinking about Jesus Christ when you think about thorns yeah. and then you have the, the, the smooth uh, skin of uh, Jesus with the thorns around his head. Yeah. But I, I, uh, my, my thinking is like the uh, human beings are thorns. We are, we are the devil on, on, the, on the earth. So we have to think more about beauty and take uh, 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 the patience to, to look at the things which matter. And so I made a big head of uh, thorns with angels around. In a few weeks, a team from the IBB with 
David Bader, Teresa Martha and Eric Cabots, the visiting Dutch artist, they're going to be coming to Barbados, as David said, in an exchange between Fresh Milk and the ABB. And they're going to be speaking with Bajan artists there as well. And is there anything maybe that you would like to ask any artists in Barbados or a message you'd like to give through the, this exchange that we're doing? Yeah, well, let's meet and make a, make a, a, a change of uh, shows. Yes. I think that's beautiful to see how an Anola Island is managing with uh, society. Yeah. So we can make a, a we can have an, a, a glimpse of the society of Barbados, yes. and they can have a glimpse of our society. Mm -hmm. begin to build because everybody is working in, in his culture, mm -hmm. in, his, in his community, yeah. and what the possibilities are. Like uh, on Aruba, they are totally different as over here, and so on and so on. Okay. So we can learn from each other. Yes, definitely. That's the best. Of course, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.